Hi and welcome back to our GCP Mindset channel and all topics on clinical research. Today, we'll talk about randomization in clinical trials. More after the intro. Randomization in clinical trials. In the world of clinical research, randomization is an important tool used to ensure the accuracy and validity of study results. Randomization is the process of assigning subjects to treatment or control groups in a clinical trial. This ensures that the study results are not affected by any biases or confounding variables that could influence the outcome. Randomization is essential for providing reliable and valid data for clinical research professionals to make informed decisions about patient care. This video will provide an overview of the steps in randomization process, the advantages and disadvantages of randomization, and the different types of randomization techniques. The randomization process. Randomization is the process of assigning subjects to treatment or control groups in a clinical trial. This is done to ensure that any potential confounders or biases are removed from the study results. The steps in the randomization process include outlining the objectives of the study, deciding on the study design, creating a list of eligible participants, and finally, randomly assigning participants to treatment or control groups. Once participants have been assigned to treatment or control groups, researchers can begin collecting data for analysis Randomization has several advantages, such as improved trial design, increased accuracy of results, reduced bias in study results, and increased patient safety. Additionally, randomization can help researchers achieve better results by ensuring that no group is overrepresented and that any potential confounders are eliminated from the study results. Randomization also has some disadvantages, Compliance with ethical guidelines can be difficult when randomizing subjects, as researchers need to be sure that all participants are treated fairly and given equal access to healthcare services. Additionally, cost restraints can be an issue for some studies as randomization requires additional resources and personnel. Finally, implementation of randomization can be difficult as it requires careful planning and coordination between researchers and participants. The types of randomization techniques. When it comes to randomizing participants in clinical trials, there are several techniques available. The four most common techniques are simple randomization, stratified randomization, block randomization, and adaptive randomization. Simple randomization assigns subjects to treatment or control groups randomly and without any predetermined order or structure. Stratified randomization is used when researchers want to ensure that certain subject characteristics, e.g., age, gender, are equally represented in both groups. Block randomization assigns subjects to treatment or control groups in blocks or clusters of predetermined size. Adaptive randomization is used when researchers want to adjust treatment assignments based on new data or changes in the study design. In conclusion, randomizing participants in clinical trials is an essential tool for ensuring accurate and valid study results. It helps improve trial design by providing a fairer comparison between treatment and control groups, increases accuracy by removing potential confounders from study results, reduces bias in study results, increases patient safety by ensuring that no group is overrepresented, and reduces costs associated with conducting a clinical trial. There are several techniques available for randomizing subjects, such as simple randomization, stratified randomization, block randomization, and adaptive randomization. However, there are also some challenges associated with it, such as compliance with ethical guidelines, cost restraints, and difficulty of implementation. Clinical research professionals should be aware of the importance of randomization in clinical trials, as well as its benefits, challenges, and techniques. Randomizing participants correctly is essential for providing reliable and valid data for clinical research professionals to make informed decisions about patient care. So much about randomization in clinical trials. 
We hope that we could give you some interesting information and look forward to see you next time. Goodbye. Thank you.